Since HTML is all based in text, there's a special way to handle putting colors on the page. We'll have a look at that in this video. Let's go ahead and talk about how we can add color uh, when we're using HTML. And because HTML is just text that we're typing onto a page, of course, we're going to have to represent color uh, with some numbers and letters. And that's how it's going to work. It's something called a hexadecimal number. And we can see here on my little web page example, I'm trying to specify a font color here with this font tag. And here I can see my hexadecimal number drawn out here. And it's always preceded by this pound sign followed by six digits. And this, right off the bat, is just set to six zeros, which is actually set to black. And if I come and take a preview of my page here, here I can see, hello, welcome to my website, is indeed black text. And this is how the hexadecimal number is working. It's representing the colored lights inside of a pixel. So a pixel is made up of three lights, a red light, a green light, and a blue light. And we can see uh, these first two digits here are representing the red pixel, uh, the red light, pardon me, these two are representing the green, and these last two here are representing the blue. And we can tweak these. Let's just say I'm going to turn these red ones fully on, and I'm actually going to put two Fs in here like this. And if I go preview my page, I can see because I turn those red ones on, my text actually does happen to be red. That's great, Oliver. You don't want to have to sit here and play a guessing game and fiddle around with these to find the color you want. We want to be able to find exactly the color we need and put it in here as a hexadecimal. And we can do that pretty simply inside of Web Builder here. I'll show you an alternative way as well if you're not using Web Builder. Uh, that worked fine. I'm just going to erase the uh, hexadecimal number I have in here. And right from Web Builder, there's this little button here uh, called the Insert Color. I'm going to press that. And it just brings up a color picker. And here I can go through, and there's a bunch of different palettes that I can use up here at the top. I can switch through. And I could find, say, I want to use this nice green here. Pick the green, and you can see here right at the top, it's giving me this hexadecimal number. Uh, notice the green pixels here are, are on uh, the most for this green color. Makes sense. And we're going to go ahead and press OK, and it's going to put that hexadecimal number right in there for us. If I go and preview the page, I can see great, my text has turned green. So if you're not using Web Builder, if you're, say, just using Notepad and you don't have that ability to generate the hexadecimal numbers that way, there's a nice little site that Adobe has actually called Adobe Cooler, which lets us go in and pick uh, some colors from their color wheel. And it's a really neat program. You can pick color harmonies and stuff like that. And I'll show you what it looks like here. Fire it up. There it is. Uh, the web address is right here at the top, uh, uh, cooler.adobe.com. Great. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about how this works. It's a pretty neat program. I'd recommend playing around with it, getting used to it. But here on this color wheel, I can come in and pick the color that I want. There's my base color. And I can come in here, it's going to generate a hexadecimal number for me here right at the bottom. And I can just take that, copy it into Web Builder, and it's going to give me that color in my HTML. So that's how you use colors on your page. Don't forget to put that pound sign in front of your hexadecimal numbers.